All right, what's up guys? This is Mr. B, um, and I'm going to show you a program today that you can use to draw molecules on your computer. Um, in chapter eight, there are a lot of molecules that you have to draw. Um, I would recommend probably drawing them by hand first, but of course, um, some of the questions in the notes require you to do the drawings in your notes. So um, I'm gonna show you how to draw them on the computer and then how to put them into your notes. So that way, when you turn your notes in, you have your molecules in your notes uh, and they're not only on paper. So um, the, the program we're gonna be using today is called MoldView and it's actually not a program, it's just a website. So um, it is moldview.org shown at the top here and I'm already on the website, but I'll type it in just to show you. So M-O-L-V-I-E-W dot O-R-G, hit enter. It's going to bring up it up like this. I'm um, just hit close at the beginning. Um, so by default, it has a molecule that's already shown here. Um, you can just delete it. Uh, it also shows a three-dimensional version of it on the right, which is again kind of neat. Uh, if you wanted to see what this looks like in three dimensions, which when we get into molecular geometry in chapter eight, that actually might be pretty important. So either way, though, for right now, we're going to get rid of this. So on the top left, there's a little uh, trash can button. Hit clear all. It'll clear the whole canvas, so it's completely blank. Uh, on the right here are all the different elements, or at least some of them that you can use. Uh, if there's one on here that you that, or if there's one that you want to use that isn't on here, I believe you click on the little three dots. It brings up the whole periodic table, so you can bring up, you know, like like a metal, like sodium, for example. Um, and then if you click on the canvas, it'll just put sodium down. So um, anyway, so by, again, by default, there's already some on here on the side. Now. Again, if you notice, when I when I click on the canvas, it's going to put that element down. It's kind of small. Uh, if you use your mouse wheel, you can you can zoom in. So if you want to make it bigger, um, you know, if you don't want you don't want to draw a bunch of tiny molecules. So um, we're going to clear that. Um, so we're going to draw just a, a really basic molecule here, and I'm just going to show you kind of all the different features of MoleView. Um, as when when we're done, I'm going to show you how to upload it into your notes. So um, so we're going to select carbon. Click on carbon, just click on it on the screen, it'll put a carbon there. Um, if we want to draw, like, let's say we want to put another carbon next to it. There's a couple ways we can do it. One, we can just, like, click on the carbon and then drag out from there, and it'll just make it like this. Um, now, granted, it, it just does this line because this is an organic molecule. It's kind of confusing. So I'm just going to click on this here, um, and it's going to show the, the structural or skeletal formula. Now, you'll notice that there's all these hydrogens there. Um, that's because MoleView just fills this in. Um, in order for this molecule to exist normally, if there were two carbons like this, they would all have to be bonded to hydrogens. So MoleView is smart enough to know just to do that. But obviously, in real life, you would need to like draw C and then C, and you'd have to draw these H's in. MoleView just does it for you, so it saves you a little bit of time, which is kind of nice. Um, anyway, so um, maybe this is a bad example. So let, let's just clear this real quick. Let's do a different one. Let's do, let's just make water. So let's click on oxygen. Um, let's click on the screen again. Here's our O. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So that way, again, it's a bit bigger. Um, we're going to toggle this skeletal formula off here. So let's click an H. Uh, if we click on the O and drag it out, it'll make an H bond with the oxygen. We can drag and click on the other side to make another one. So there's our HOH. That's our water or H2O. Um, it does not let you do electron pairs or lone pairs. So, um, when you get further into chapter eight, you'll learn about lone pairs and when you're drawing stuff, but, um, there would be dots on this oxygen here to show that there are electrons on it. There's no way to show that with this software, at least not that I've seen. So we're just going to assume that the lone pairs are there. So don't worry if they're not there. You should still draw them probably by hand when you're doing them in paper, but in your notes, if you build it. Um, and they're not there, that's fine. But do understand that they are there. They do have an effect on molecular geometry, which in chapter eight, section three, uh, yeah, section three, that's gonna come up. So anyway, okay, so here's our HOH. Um, now let's build another one. Um, we're gonna build NO2. Um, so let's go N and then we'll grab an auction and we'll drag it out to one side and then we'll drag it out to another. Now, again, as we get further into the chapter, as you get further into the chapter, uh, you'll learn more about drawing molecules. Uh, but this molecule in particular is gonna have a double bond. So if we wanted to make one of these lines a double line, here on the side, there's some different options. We can click on it here. And I believe if we just click the double and then we click on it here, it'll just turn it into a double bond. So um, if for some reason, again, we wanted to make a double bond, we could. Or let's say, for example, uh, let's just erase this entirely. Let's say we wanted to make uh, a triple bond. So let's say we have two nitrogens like this, 
and we need this to be a triple bond, we can click on this triple bond here and then click on it and it'll just turn it into a triple bond. So um, that's kind of nice. Again, there's a lot of different molecules, again, as you learn in the chapter where they have single bonds or double bonds or triple bonds and being able to change them up like that is nice and easy. So um, it's not super hard to figure out. I just wanted to show you a little bit. Um, now, again, as to how do we put this on our notes? So once we've drawn some molecules and you can draw them all on one big canvas like this, um, rather than do a bunch of separate ones. Up at the very top, there's this tools button. If you click on it, uh, it'll have this option to export structural formula image. Um, so if you click on this, now it's not going to show it on this video here because the way I have my, my camera set up, it won't pop up. But if you click on the export structural image, um, it's going to pull up a save as folder. It'll pull up a save as window on your computer. It'll ask you, of course, where you want to save this image. Uh, it saves it as a PNG image. So I would save it anywhere you know you're going to find it. I usually just save things to my desktop that I know, then I know where it is. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop, hit save. Again, you didn't see any of that on the video, but so now if you go back to our notes, so here would be like an example. Here's our Google Slides, um, and this is just a random section I pulled up. Um, we can click somewhere in, in our notes like this, go to Insert Image, Upload from Computer. When you click on that, again, it's going to pull up a window for you to grab any file from your computer you want to upload. And again, I know it's not showing you on this video, but on your computer, it'll pull up. Find the image wherever you saved it, click on it, hit Open. And bam, it'll pull it right up on your computer like this. And of course, you want to make it a little bit bigger. You can make it bigger so that way, you know, it's easier to see, etc. And and there's all your molecules. So you can draw, you know, as many as you can fit on there and then save it, upload it into your notes like this. And then you can just upload this into Schoology and all your molecules that you drew by hand are now, you know, on the computer and on your notes. So anyway, like I said, just wanted to show you a way to draw molecules on your computer. Um, there's a lot of drawing in this chapter, you know, you want to do it by hand, but then put them in your notes. This is probably the best way to do it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, hopefully this is helpful and I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye guys.